guys, so welcome back to another episode of Fab and Thick Fashion Friday. If you're new to my channel, every Friday I put out fashion videos for the plus size curvy girl variety, giving you guys fashion tips and outfit of the days and things of that nature. So if you like those, I will um, link down below last week's Fat Fashion Friday. It does stand for fabulous and thick, not fat. We are fabulous. Anyway guys, today's video is going to be um, about maxi skirts and maxi dresses. I'm going to show you guys one of each and how I style it and give you guys a few tips on how to style it. This was requested back when I um, posted on my Instagram about what you guys want to see and I got a ton of comments and feedback and I always want you guys to comment down below in these videos what you want to see in next week's because these videos are about you guys giving you guys tips and I love to help so comment below what you want to see in next week's. So the first outfit I'm going to show you here is styled with a maxi skirt which is black and it is just from TJ Maxx last season. They have black maxi skirts all the time and then I paired it with just a plain uh, red tank top which I believe is just from I think Target and then this cheetah print or leopard print scarf is kind of old and I think I got it for Christmas <laughs> so you can get scarves like this anywhere these earrings I feel bad people always ask me where they're from and I don't know the answer I feel really bad uh, I don't know they're my mom's and they're super old as well we've had them since like the 90s <laughs> but um, I love them so yeah so anyway let me show you guys the outfit and tell you a little bit about it Personally, what I love about most maxi skirts, which is a little trick that I don't think people really realize, um, see this flap here that's supposed to fold over? <laughs> I don't fold it over. I like to pull it up and create a smoother silhouette right here. Um, it's just a little tip that I have. Um, if you fold it over, you might create a lump that will come out looking like muffin top, even if it's not. So I like to keep that high up and that way you can keep the length on the skirt as well. And then I'll just put the fitted t-shirt over it. And you know, a fitted like t-shirt or tank top with a maxi skirt I think is so cute. Uh, personally, I've said this before, um, when it comes to my own personal fashion sense, I like to do one item flowy and one item loose. So my bottom, of course, is flowy. And then my tank top is fitted so I feel like it gives a nice balance and then you can always keep it simple and then um, accessorize more to add a little fun with it like you know a little leopard scarf or some fun statement earrings just some bracelets keep it like simple but still like fun personally I wouldn't you know wear like a flowy top with um, a maxi skirt or it might kind of just flow together and look a little bit frumpy but I love maxi skirts so much I know there's different kinds where some are more like fitted in the butt area and then then flow out but this one is pretty flowy from top to bottom and that's personally just what I like I like it all to just kind of flow and I don't really want it to cling to my treble areas like the lower tummy area or um, at the top of the thigh area and this is a really cute and trendy summer outfit that you can wear especially if you're not a big fan of your legs of course I promote like body positivity and loving yourself but I know some people just have insecurities that you know they're just not comfortable showing and in time you will be so I mean you know wear what you want to wear you got to be comfortable and fashionable at the same time because you can't rock an outfit if you don't feel comfortable in it and I feel like this is a great summer outfit to like show off your curves but to still feel comfortable if you want to hide one of those trouble areas so now I'm gonna put on a maxi dress and style it and show you guys how I wear it <laughs> now I look <laughs> naked <laughs> Naked. I am wearing a strapless maxi dress. Derp de schnittle, that's awkward. Anywho, so my next outfit here, I feel like awkward standing close enough where you can't see the top. Um, so this outfit here is a maxi dress that I got from Target last season. It was actually in the beach cover-up section because you can wear it over your bathing suits, which I also love to do. I have a short version of this as well. It's cute with the little ruffles on top, and then it kind of creates like a nice silhouette to have um, like a more curvy shape, which I love. It's pretty flowy. Um, I love maxi dresses because, you know, they're usually like kind of either cinched in at the waist or they're fitted at the top and flowy at the bottom. It creates a beautiful silhouette on the plus size body and it just like accentuates the curves and oh, it's so beautiful. Um, I will say this, if you are uncomfortable wearing um, a maxi dress and like you feel like you know your stomach's not smooth enough like sometimes when the wind <laughs> hits a maxi dress and you're walking even if it is flowy it'll like go like this <laughs> and then you can see 
everything. I suggest getting either a pair of Spanx that comes up like below the bosom area, or I just have one of these. This is just um, a stomach smoother that you can wear. I've had this forever. I hardly wear it, but I like it because it's um, strapless, so you don't have to worry about that if you're wearing something strapless like this. And another huge thing I love about maxi skirts and maxi dresses is that they look absolutely phenomenal with a denim jacket, guys. I've been flaunting this denim jacket for years on this YouTube channel because it's my best purchase. I got it at Walmart for $8 on sale, and it's from Faded Glory, and it just I somehow got lucky with this one because I had been looking for so long. It's just my favorite item. Oh, I love you. I'm so happy I found you. And I also, for accessories on this, uh, I thought that this is kind of more like a flirty summer look. So I'm just pairing it with a pair of like cute little big girly flirty earrings um, that I got from shopmissa.com. I have a haul from them and I'll put it down below in the description box. And um, just some really pretty gold and pink bangles from Dots before they closed. Still so sad. So let me just throw this on and show you guys the outfit. I think that this would also look good with a scarf if it was like getting chilly at night. It's just nice to um, add a little bit of a fun accessory to it as well. Um, yeah, but I'm like kind of warm, so let's just remove this. But I feel like it would also look good with um, a cardigan. Oh my gosh, it is like stuck on my bracelet. I turn everything into a song. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh my god, I really can't get it off though. Ow. Ow. Moving forward. Jiggle that arm fat. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> now that I just shook my arm fat for you and I look naked again, okay, this is this video is going good. So anyway, guys, <laughs> what do you guys want to see in next week's Fab and Thick Fashion Friday video? Please comment below any of your thoughts and what you thought about this video. How do you like to style maxi skirts and maxi dresses? Leave your tips and comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's Fab and Thick Fashion Friday video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Stay beautiful guys. Bye!